This is the third equation of the tutorial, um, grade 11 tutorial. And you get a question like this, and there's the third. And what you have to do is isolate it. You've got to get it by itself. If you add um, root x plus 4 to both sides, it would come over on the right-hand side. And if you subtracted 7, you'd have the root x plus 4 on the right-hand side and the 2x minus 7 on the left-hand side. And that's what I did. I took away 7 and I added the square root of x plus 4. That's your first step. Now you've got to do something to get rid of this square root. You do the opposite operation. You square both sides. And you have to know that when you square a square root, the square root sign goes. And then you square the other side. Now, whenever you do that, strange things can happen. The solutions you can get can be called extraneous. They just don't work, so you have to check them at the end. Well, 2x minus 7 times 2, 2x minus 7 gives you lots of stuff. The 2x times 2x gives you 4x squared. The minus 7 times minus 7 gives you 49. But there are two other products, the outside and inside of FOIL, that give you the minus 28x. Or if you're good, it's minus 2ab. You know how to write down the answer. Now we take away x, and we take away 4, and we get this equation. Now that is a bit of a bear cat to um, factor if you're not so great at factoring. But, I mean, it took me a, a, a try or two. I had to think a bit. But 4x times x will give me 4x squared. 9 times 5 gives me 45. It has to be two negatives. And this combination, minus 20x and minus 9x, give me minus 29x. Now, say you were, didn't, you were finding this hard to factor. If you put those numbers into the quadratic formula, you'd get the same answer. 9 over 4, change the sign, and 5 minus 5. Those are the two, val two values that make it true. But you could use the quadratic formula, and you'd get exactly the same answers. As, but you have to show where you put B and where you put A and C. You have to put it into the formula and show your work. Okay, so we've got these two x values, but we're not finished because maybe they just don't work. Now the 5, if you put it in here, 5 plus 4 is 9, square root it is 3. 2 times 5 is 10, minus 7 is 3. Hey, that works. But, you know, this 9 over 4, 2 times 9 over 4 minus 7 is a negative number, and it doesn't equal the square root of this. So that means there's only one answer, x is equal to 5. And there you go. There's your third equation.